Welcome back, and in today's tutorial, we're gonna be making the Grinch in Blender. You can see this is what it looks like. And we're gonna be keeping things really simple, nothing too complicated, nothing too detailed. But if you want my original as well, you can download it on Patreon if you're on there. All of that's in the description. But let's go ahead and make this Grinch in Blender and then render it out. So with a new scene open up in Blender, go ahead and select the default cube. We're gonna be using it today. And you're gonna go over to your modifier stack. Let's go ahead by giving this a uh, mirror modifier. And inside of edit mode, make sure to enable clipping. Then go G, X, and move it over till it clips together, like so, on the X. And then let's just grab this middle face here and go X and delete that face. So now we have this. I might just move this in a little bit so we have something that looks more like this. Then I'm gonna come here, Control R, add in a loop, double click. Grab this face here, and now we're gonna go E to extrude and Z. Shoot up on a Z about this much. So we're starting off by making the base shape that's gonna be the Grinch's head. And then let's go over here now and grab this G, X, move it out a little bit. Control R, add in a loop over here. Control R, one in the middle. And then let's get our right view and just grab these faces and go S, Y and just scale a little bit under Y like that. And then we're gonna come in here, control R, add in a loop over here. And let's maybe grab the top of the head, just grab these verts here and just take them up a little bit like so. Maybe take these guys out just a bit. And then you're gonna select everything, right click and go subdivide again. And then let's come over here to the smooth tool. With everything active, let's just click and drag on this little gizmo just to smooth things out. And then let's go back in the front. I'm gonna go into my wireframe, just enable proportional editing. And then let's grab these verts over here. Let's go G and I'm just gonna roll the middle mouse button to control my fall off. I'm gonna grab some of these bottom verts, bring them down a little bit like so. Just to create a bit of a more organic shape to this. And let's grab these guys here. Maybe let's just bulge them out a little bit more. Then grab these ones at the top and just make it a little bit more pointy. And you guys can kind of see where we're going with this, right? Just making this sort of organic looking shape. Let's get to the right view and let's grab these two verts here. And in our right graphic view, let's just go G and bulge that out a little bit. But before we go any further with that, let's go to our face select option. And in our front view, we're gonna go and just select these faces down here. Let's select six faces over here and then another face going up to here. And let's go E to extrude S to scale and just roll that proportional editing off small so it's not affecting it too much. And then let's go G and move it in. And then let's go to our edge select option here. Let's select this edge here and go G to move it up. Grab this edge here, bring it in. And let's just bring this one in and then this one here. And now we're just making the rough shape of the um, his front part of his face, like so. Maybe grab these two, just bulge them out a bit. And then once again with that smooth tool, let's just go with everything selected and just smooth it out a little bit. So I'm not too worried about topology here, so I'm just gonna go Control R and right over here, I'm gonna add another loop. And then what I'm gonna do is in the front view, I'm just gonna grab these edges here, double G just to slide them in a bit. And these guys is here as well. And then I'm gonna go to my face select option. I might need more loops here, just some, so I'm just gonna go Control R, add another loop and then maybe just grab some of these top edges here and just go G, move them up a little bit with proportional editing. Just trying to make some more topology here. Then I'm gonna to go to my face select option here and I'm gonna select some faces here like this, about three faces. Then I'm gonna go E to extrude a little bit like so. Control plus to grow the selection and then let's just smooth it out of that smooth tool. And then in our front view, let's go to our face select. Select this face here and let's just move this one in and down. S to scale a little bit, and let's grab this one and do the same. And maybe grab this and bring it up a little bit. And now you kind of see what we're doing there. Then let's grab these four faces under here. Let's just go E to extrude, S to scale, and then X, and let's delete those faces. Then let's go to our edge select and select this edge over here. And in our front view, let's move it in. Let's grab this one and kind of tuck it up under the eye. Let's grab this edge, move it out. And then this one down like so. And then let's grab this loop in here and go to our right view and just go G and move it back into the face a bit. Okay. Let's also grab the back of the head, just avert an edge or something. And let's just go G and bulge that out a little bit as well. Like so. 
And let's just also round the cheeks out just a bit here by grabbing these corners. Nothing too crazy, something like that. And now what we can do is tab back out and let's go shift A, let's just quickly add in a UV sphere. Let's just go G, move it over, R, X, 9, 0 and hit enter. Let's get our modifiers, give that a mirror modifier. Click on the eyedropper and select the Grinch's head and then let's go S to scale it down about this much and then G to move it in, right click and go shade smooth. And then in our right view, let's just move it forward a bit to about here. Select the Grinch head and go back into edit mode. And let's select this loop over here and I'm gonna turn off proportional editing. And then in my right view in wireframe, I'm just gonna move it closer to the eye. And then once I have it roughly positioned, touching the eye like this, I'm gonna go E and just extrude out that edge. S to scale it a little bit, move it over here. Double G, maybe just slide it back just a bit. And then E to extrude as to scale. And then in the side view, let's just go E and extrude that edge in and scale it. And then what we're just doing is making this rough eyelid. Now with proportional editing, we can just grab these edges and just come around here and just adjust them to the eye shape like so. And maybe grab this, bring it forward. Make him kind of look a little bit angry by making the eyelids kind of pucker up a little bit. And there's a lot of ways you can make this your own kind of style by how you adjust these over here, but I'm gonna go something like this. Maybe bring these ones in. Okay, that's looking better. Maybe I'll just bring this down a bit. And then let's grab the Grinch nose here or the, the top of the brow. I'm gonna bring this up a bit. I know it's really stretching the topology, but I'm not too worried as we just want a final result that works. I'm gonna go Control R, add in a loop over here and then bring this out like so. And then let's come over here where the mouth is and let's make a mouth. So we're gonna come um, K, press K to get the cut tool and click on an edge. Then go to where there's an intersection between two edges. And then let's just come about here and then down to the corner here. And let's just come back like so. Don't worry about the topology, just making like a mouth shape and then press enter. Now you can see we have this selected here. Let's just go to our face select and then just select these faces in here. And let's go X and delete those faces. And now you can see we have some non quads here. So you can just come now and press K and then you can just try and fix these non quads. So I'm gonna go from here to here, going all the way around, maybe to here. And then I'll select maybe this edge and go X and dissolve that edge. Um, and then I might just go over here, hit K and then just come all the way around up here and then down to the corner. And then I might just grab this edge here, S to scale. And then I'm gonna type F3 and go merge and just merge at center. And uh, yeah, control R, maybe add in a loop over here. Slide up this edge and um, all I'm trying to do here is just make some lips. So I'm just gonna grab this inside edge here and just go G, move it in a bit. And then let's just grab the whole loop inside the mouth in here. And in our right field, let's just go E to extrude. And then E to extrude again, S, Z, and make it go up a bit. And uh, we, we don't really wanna see the inside of the mouth. So I'm just gonna extrude it here and S, make it really small doesn't really matter. We just want to kind of see the outside here. And then let's grab this front lip here and let's just move it back a little bit. I'm going to go to my proportional editing and go connected only and move it back. And let's grab the top one, the top lip. And in, in a right view, let's just kind of bring it out and over like so. And let's just also grab the Grinch nose and just Bring it like so, so it's just a little bit shaped a bit better. There we go, that's looking better. And that, now you can see this is where we're at. So in object mode, I'm gonna right click and go shade smooth. I'm also gonna give this a subdivision surface modifier. And now you can come in here and if you have to, just make some little adjustments to make it look more like the shape of the Grinch. Now you can look at various reference images and things online to get the shape just right stylize it as much or as little as you want. 
but I'm just gonna try and keep this as simple as possible for now. Um, probably one more thing we can do is just select some bottom faces here. Like let's grab maybe these two here and go E to extrude, S, Y and flatten it a bit, X and let's just go to delete those faces. And then let's just make a round at the bottom here. I'm gonna grab this edge here. And now we can grab this edge and just go E to extrude it down, E to extrude. And now we just have a basic Grinch neck, like so. Nothing too complicated. I might just grab the corner of the mouth here as well and just bring that in a little bit. And then we're gonna go Shift A in object mode, add in a cube and in a right view, let's just move it forward. Back in the front view, let's just scale it way down and we're just going to tab into edit mode. Once again, let's just give this a mirror, enable clipping and then move it over till it snaps. Delete the middle face and then what we're going to do is just go control R, add in a segment. And then let's select the bottom face here and go E to extrude and Z to extrude it down. And then in our right view, let's just select the whole thing and rotate it, move it forward a bit. Something like this. And then let's right click and go subdivide. And then with our smooth tool, let's just go and smooth it out a little bit. And tab back out, let's go S to scale, right click and go shade smooth. So now we just have this really rough Grinch nose we can place over here. Let's go ahead and give it a subdivision surface modifier. And you can come in here and once again, adjust it whenever you want, but just making a really simple Grinch nose like this. Maybe just grab the top here and just bring it up a little bit. Rounding it out. Okay, that's looking really good. Just one more thing with the Grinch actual head. I might just select these inside eyelids and just grow them and delete those faces. I think that the eyes are looking a little bit too small because I've made the eyelids a bit too um, small. So I'm just gonna grab this edge and I'll just extrude it in like so. Just making it a lot more simple. I think that looks better. And you know, it's got some bit, it's messed up the topology a little bit, but you know, you guys can come in here and fix that up if you need to, just by rotating these edges if they're a bit too slanted. But yeah, I think something like that's a little bit better. And I think that's making the character look a bit more closer to what the references kind of show. Also, we could probably make these um, brows at the top a lot more noticeable by extending them a little bit. And we can go control R, add in a loop over here and just kind of add a little bit more definition over there. Okay, so that is our Grinch modeled now. I know that was a bit of work, but now let's go ahead and make sure to save. And now let's grab our Grinch head and let's go to our um, particle properties. Let's go plus, let's go hair, let's go advance. And then under the source, let's go use modifier stack. Let's bring the hair length down to about something like this. Quickly tab into edit mode and let's go to our um, object data properties and let's just go plus. And before we create a vertex group, let's just click tab out and let's just go to our modifiers. Let's just grab our subdivision and with a level of one, let's just come to the drop down and apply it. And at least now we have a little bit more topology, okay? So now what we can do, um, yeah, okay, it's messed things up a little bit over here not too worried about that overall. Okay, so everything's more or less okay. But now at our object data properties, with this new group we've created, let's just select all of the bits. So I'm gonna select the inside of the mouth. So all of the bits where we don't want hair to be, okay? And then I'm also gonna just select the inside of the eyelids over here, wherever I don't want hair to be. And with all of that selected, I'm gonna go control I to inverse the selection. And then I'm gonna assign it to this group. Now, if we tab out, we go back to our hair. Let's go down to the children, make it interpolated. And then let's go down to the uh, vertex groups and under the density, let's enable that group. And now it's not putting it um, where we don't want it to be. Okay, I know it's still looking a bit messy, but before we go any further, let's just also quickly go up to our viewport display. Let's just take the strand steps up to four and under our render, let's make it B spline and bump it up to four as well. And now what we can do is we can go in to our particle edit. We can come over here by pressing N, go to our tools and under the options, let's just make sure that children is enabled so we can see it. And now we're gonna get our 
paintbrush, our comb brush here, F to grow the brush, turn off proportional editing, and let's start combing our hair. So I'm going to comb everything down in the right view as well. And then in the front, we're just going to come here and paint the hairs going the direction of the brows here, and the same over on this side. Just paint it up so it's not going through the eyes like so and just kind of follow the flow of the character and then over here in the cheeks kind of pull it out and then over here tuck it in so the same thing over here pull it in a little bit down to the neck and then here at the face we're going to go sideways and the same over here and then down over here like so and the thing though is right we do need the long hair at the top so let's come here to this add and let's click a few times on the top to add some more hairs Let's also come here on the side, click a few times to add a few more hairs. And the same over here on this side. Right? Then we're going to come here to the length. Let's just grab it and just add some length going out like so. And let's do the same thing over here. Just adding some length. Let's come to the comb here and let's just come and paint it out and up. And let's do the same thing over here. Out and up like that and that's already looking really cool and then let's come here and let's just go length let's give it a little bit more length towards the top these hairs here and then let's come here and comb and let's just give it a nice shape like so and let's get to the right view and just do something like this just so it has a bit of a shape to it and then in the side view we can come here and just do a little bit a final adjustment here and really that is about all there is to it so now let's go back in to our object mode and let's go shift a let's add in the camera in the front G Y move it back let's just select the other camera and delete it same with the light and let's go into camera view here and zoom back I'm just gonna go up like this and let's go to our render settings let's make it cycles and under the device let's make a GPU and for the max samples, I'd recommend you go something like 55, should be fine. And now if we go Z and we get rendered, we can go Control B, drag over the camera to limit the rendering to this spot. And then we can go Shift A. Let's add in an area light and go G, move it to the side, R to rotate. And because it's a really large scene at the moment, I'm just going to go make it something like 2000. Keep in mind, though, that um, if I scale this down here, it might mess up the particles a bit. So I'm just going to... Um, just work with a stronger light source, even though everything's really big. Maybe rotate it in a little bit. And I am just noticing here that with the um, Grinch, we're just gonna go back into the particle edit. And just from the bottom here, let's just also tuck these two together. Um, that's really important. Okay, that's looking better. So anyway, where were we? Just duplicate the light and have it coming in from the back. So we have some nice backlighting. And then just kind of one coming a little bit further here from the front. And that way we have it lit up a little bit. So now let's grab our Grinch. Let's go to our shading workspace. And let's go ahead and give it a greenish lime kind of color. Let's grab the nose, go new, and let's give that a darker kind of green color. And bring down the roughness a little bit. Maybe even a little bit darker. And then let's grab the eyes, go new. And then we're going to drag here in a base color. We're going to type an image. We're going to get an image texture. Now you're going to want to go to the internet and just type in green eye texture on your search browser and then just find a image or a texture of an eye that is green. There's many to pick from. I went with something that kind of looks like this and I put it somewhere on my computer. And once you've done that, all you're going to do is you're going to go open and you're going to find wherever that is on your computer. So here it is for me. I'm going to go open image. And then you're going to go to your UV editing. And in your camera view, with this eye selected in edit mode, you're going to go U and you're going to go, um, let's go project from view. Or maybe go into your front orthographic and then go U and then go project from view. And then over here, you're going to select the eye and go S to scale it up. G to move it so it's kind of matching in the middle. And now if you go Z and you go material preview over here, you should be able to preview and see what it's going to look like. So I'm just going to scale it a bit. 
tab back out and that's looking really cool. So there we have our Grinch eyes. Let's go back to our shading workspace. And with the eyes here, let's just come and bring that roughness almost all the way down to zero as well. So now those eyes are nice and reflective. So here we have our Grinch in a nutshell. Another thing I did was just added a material to the lips. That's kind of optional. You could pretty, pretty much get away with not doing that if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much how to make the Grinch in Blender. So let's go ahead now. And also with the hair, let's just quickly go to our hair settings. Let's just quickly go down to the hair shape and make it 0.4 or 0.3 on the diameter root. And under the children, let's just make it 75 on the render amount. And now let's go render and render the image. And here we have a very basic cartoony looking Grinch. You can definitely spend as much time as you want refining the hair, adding more particles and um, posing it differently. But this is how you can make the Grinch. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and I'll be uploading my original to Patreon. Make sure to check that out in the description below.